house was full of books. They were everywhere. And not just on bookshelves and bedside tables where books usually are, but in all sorts of places where books usually aren't. Worse still, her parents were always bringing home more books. They kept buying books and borrowing books and ordering books from catalogs. Mina's parents loved to read. They read at breakfast and lunch and dinner. Mina, on the other hand, thought all those books were rather in the way. One morning, Mina called for her cat. Max? But Max didn't come. Max, where are you? There he was. Meow. On top of all the books her parents kept buying her, and she kept refusing to read. What are you doing up there? Meow. I'll get you down. <laughs> Whoa, this is so not happening. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, no! Oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, the rest in the house! Stop! Stop! Everybody get back in the books! <laughs> Gotcha. Why won't you go in? <gasps> oh. Come on. Why won't they stay in the box? He is for Arvin. A is for Aardvark. A is for Aardvark. And B is for Buck. Don't even think about it, kiddo. That's not my book. Okay, but if this was your book, would you go back in? I might. And what about the others? Would they go back too? Well, they wouldn't go in my book, if that's what you're asking. So how do I know which is your book? Hmm. E is for Aardvark. Why won't you help me? A is for Aardvark. A is for Aardvark. Figure it out for yourself, kiddo. E is for Aardvark. <laughs> I just want to go home, but I don't know which is my book. <laughs> is it this one? What's it say? I don't know. Just read it and find out. I can't. You can't read? No! <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to do this. This is so dumb. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived three little pigs. Does that sound familiar? There's no pigs in my book! Wait! Read that again! Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived three little pigs. That's us! That's our page! That's our book! Yippee! Huh. A is for aardvark. This is my stop. Goodbye, everybody. But what about my book? We'll just have to keep reading until we find it. The ducks in the pond said quack, quack, quack. The rabbit went hippity hop down the road. The giraffe loped across the plain. Now in the forest lived a wolf. Oh, uh, that's me! Deep in the jungle, high up in the trees, lived a band of chattering monkeys. <laughs> Somebody stop those monkeys! <laughs> Come on, monkeys, give me the book. Ugh, bad monkeys! <sighs> Take that! <laughs> Aha! Stupid monkeys. Deep in the jungle, high up in the trees, lived a band of chattering monkeys! There! So... Are there going to be any more interruptions? Good. Now, where were we? Once upon a time, in a land... One by one, Mina began reading all of her books. And one by one, 
The creatures found out where they belonged. This was much too much for the poor cowherd. The elephant lifted his trunk and trumpeted. Sleeping in the cave was a great bear. The soldier raised his sword and they all lived happily ever after. There. Phew. Aw, come here, kitty. Where were you hiding? It's okay. Now it's just you and me, Max. Do you think we'll ever see them again? What do you think they're all up to now? When Mia's parents came in that afternoon, they couldn't believe their eyes. Not because the curtains were gone and the dishes were broken and the table legs were all chewed up, but because there, in the middle of the room, was Mina. She was reading a book. Monkeys! 